Hey everyone, my name is Kramer, and this is Kramer Does Video Essays. Star wipe. Did, did, did you star wipe? So tonight's topic is the video game industry. Very broad, very broad, I know, but it's been broken down uh, by uh, someone in the channel at uh, twitch.tv forward slash the underscore Kramer to, to just a few topics. It's just going to be like a little little taste, a little smattering, a little exposure the first one is my personal experience in the gaming industry well uh as some of you might know um i started as a tester at nintendo over a decade ago actually um and then from there i moved on to an internal development house working on basically movie tie-in games and then bungie if uh sucker punch 343 turn 10 i i've i've been around and I've been from a tester to an associate producer to, to even technical coordinator for worldwide events. Um, I've, I've been around and, and now now I'm streaming. I'm, I'm doing doing something. I'm creating an online community and, and something more and create even more. And the reason I'm able to keep doing this is because I personally love it. Fucking love it. Granted, mm, granted, there's a lot of fuckery. A lot of fuckery. Uh, obviously, I have a, a large background for for reasons, and one of those biggest reasons is um, I I love learning. But part of that is there's very few places for people who just love to have as big of a background as possible, and and that's me. And so while I still love the game industry, I I, I do wish there were more places in these AAA studios for jacks of all trades. What does the game industry do right? It's a bit of a, a loaded question, but what it does right is it brings joy, hate, fear, love, compassion, and so many more emotions, if there even are more emotions than that. I don't know, but video games bring them. It takes us to places that we never would have imagined on our own. It, it gives us so much that we wouldn't have otherwise. There's movies and there's books, but those are curated stories that we aren't really a part of unless you consider choose your own adventure books and those are kind of early early games and they they allow such escapism such moments and memories dynamic and not that it's amazing and it brings so much to all of us really it's now in our pockets the fun is in our pockets what does the game industry do wrong? Um, the, the, the quick answer to that is it, it grinds your love and joy into a paste that it then force feeds the masses, whether they want it or not. It sounds pretty dark. It is. It's pretty fucked up. But it's because there's so many people who are so passionate about games and about making games in the process that there's everyone's pretty replaceable. <laughs> And every year that passes, there's more and more people ready for that churn. And a lot of people, a lot of the public don't realize that these games, some of them, the big ones, take years. And that's that's a lot of time. It's not just a, a 9 to 5, 40 hour a week job. It's not just an 80 hours a week job. It is an existence. And it pushes and it pushes and it just grinds you down because... The public aren't okay usually with satisfactory. If people like great graphics, there's always that bar. That bar is ever moving. And that bar achieving it or surpassing it takes time, takes manpower, takes emotional toll, mental health drain. And that it, it it's bad, but there's there's that's the standard. And so there's nothing nothing past that. That we could that, that we could really do about it right now. There are studios that make a difference. There are big and small studios that are really striving to make it healthier for people, but that's not the standard yet. And so that's something that the game industry is definitely doing wrong. What does the game industry need to take a step back from? This is kind of a this is kind of shitty because um, most things I can play devil's advocate advocate on, and I, I I definitely do. If you guys have seen any of my content. Um, like something like VR, for example. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but, and like they tried 
15, 20 years ago for it and wasn't ready. Uh, but now there's so many companies putting so many resources into it that it's, it's finally becoming something. And as much as people don't want it to be a thing, it's by really focusing on something that it, it, it helps that, 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 that thing become something like VR. But one thing I absolutely do not like, and I'll play devil's advocate on this a little bit is early access games. A lot of the time people, uh, okay, okay. Let me backpedal. Early access is good because if you have a small team and don't have the resources to go through an entire development cycle to get a game ready for gold and to find a publisher even, early access allows you to get that product in front of people, which then creates word of mouth and visibility for your product, as well as helping fund the, the rest of the project. That's amazing. If it always works like that. It doesn't at all. No, not at all. Uh, a lot of people, they get the money. They're like, money's nice. I like money. And then it's so easy for them to never fully finish that product. Especially if it, from a business standpoint, they know that they can just take that money, turn it into another early access game and get more support and love uh, from, from that. And then they could just keep going forward with these non-finished ideas. As long as they have a good pitch team, then it's great for them. And Kickstarter is the same thing. Like, there are companies who should have the resources to make their own game. Don't, because they don't want to take the risk. So instead of taking the risk on their own product, they would rather you or us, the public, help fund that. To show that there's... They spend as, we need to know there's support for this. We need to know that there are people who are willing to buy this product. But we need to know that now, before we make the product. And it's like they're just playing it safe. They should really have the passion for that product beforehand because passion sells uh and this hopefully this is uh wasn't too long-winded too shitty too bad uh it's definitely longer than my usual videos like this um but if you guys have any questions feel free to go to my my twitch my youtube go wherever my discord uh twitter and just be gentle like i have feelings I'm a very sensitive man, person, man, person. Uh, eh? But in the meantime, don't stop believing and stay sexy. Love you.